Now, once you understand how you can create the Google sign in, if the user head on to the home page, he's going to get the guest home page as a response. But what I want, I want to restrict this route from accessing the guest user as well. So what I want, I want to protect this home page. I only want to access this home page when the user successfully logged in. So in that case, we need to protect this route. So let's take a look at how we can do it in the application. I'm going to back to the index.js file. And right here, as you know, when we have the session, then we return the user, otherwise return the guest user. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict this home page from accessing the unauthorized user. So right down here, I'm going to create and call a function. So I'm going to say here, export a sync function and the function name is get server side props using this function i'm going to generate this page only when we have the session in the cookies so inside this function here i'm going to say constant session is equal to and then i'm going to call here await because this is the async function and here i'm going to say get session and i'm going to get this get session from the next auth right from next auth react i'm going to call this get session here and right down here inside this get server side prop inside this parenthesis i'm going to specify an object and pass the request object you can get the request object from this get server side props from the context so you can simply specify here context dot request and you need to pass this context up here or you can just simply pass here an object and say request and here inside this get session, you just need to specify the request. This request object is going to return the cookies. And when we have the session cookies inside this variable, I'm going to return this session. Otherwise, redirect the user to the login page. So right down here, I'm going to say if we have the session, then I'm going to return the user. So I'm going to say here return in the object. I'm going to say props. And in the object, I'm going to say session. So if we have the user, I'm simply going to return the session. If the user is not authorized, then I'm going to say here if in the condition, I'm going to say if we don't have the session variable, then I'm going to execute this if statement. And here I'm going to return an object and call here redirect. And then inside this redirect object, you need to specify your destination. And then the destination is going to be the login page. And after that, you specify permanent false. Now this gets server side props is only going to create this home page when we have the user. Otherwise, it's going to redirect us to the login page. Back to the project and reload it. You can see if I try to access the home page, I'm going to redirect to the login page automatically. You can see. Now, if I try to log in by clicking on this sign in with Google, I can now easily access the home page. You can notice. Now, just for that, I want to make the sign out feature to this application. So to do that, just back to the index.js, right up here inside this home, I'm going to create the handler function. So I'm going to say here function handle sign out. Then I'm going to specify here a function. I'm going to specify name to this function handle sign out. And inside this function, I'm going to call this sign out function of next auth react. So here we need to first say sign out. We need to import this function. And then we need to call this function right here. You don't need to pass anything to this sign out. It's automatically going to remove all the values from the cookies. Let me save this. Now, just for that, let me specify this handle sign out to the button. As you know, inside this user, I have here a button, this one. This is my sign out button, you can see. Now to this button, let me specify on click event. So I'm gonna say here on click is going to be handle sign out. And don't forget to pass this value to this object. We are accessing this handler function from the parent. So we need to pass this inside this object. And when we call this user, we need to pass this handler function. Something like this. Back to the project, reload it. You can see I'm the authorized user. When I click on this sign out, the application is going to redirect me to the login page again. When I try to back to the home page, it's going to redirect me to the login page. And now if I want to access the home page, I want to log in again. 